Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Drakengard 3. Finished leveling up 1 um, using verse 3. The dragon fight was super easy because all you have to do is ram into the enemies with X. So, I finished getting all of her memoirs. Third word. Third word we must know is wealth. Powerful though you may be in battle, your people cannot survive without a prosperous nation to rely upon. Retain always a bountiful supply of the food and resources needed for life, for they are vital in developing your nation. Remember that true wealth cannot be taken, it must be grown. Tend crops, raise animals, buy new lands, engage in trade, and above all, do not concentrate your wealth in one area, but instead share it with everyone in your land. She is very level-headed. Fourth word we must know is wisdom. You must study writings of the past, for the collected wisdom of those who came before lies within. And we must also study our world and the people we share it with, so as to ever, so as to be ever mindful of how little we truly understand of it. As the leaders of this world, we must establish houses of learning across the land. Wisdom is a powerful tool that enables people to consider the future, and laying the groundwork for it is among an intoner's most sacred duties. If only all government workers thought like she did. She cares about bettering the people and the lands. Alas. The fifth word we must know is law. The world is not filled with one kind of spirit. Some of the more foolish ones commit crimes, and there is a need to judge them for it. But we must not allow people to condemn others based on passing fancies. Instead, the rule of law must be fitting and proper. The ability to judge all on equal footing is the only basis on which we can guide the world to its proper destiny. And finally, remember that all can choose the wrong path from time to time, even in toners. Who are you talking about? Is she thinking about a specific sister? Ah, oh, zero. Sixth word we must note is justice. This is vital. As leaders and intoners, we must build a palpably improved world. And to achieve that, we must have resolute and unshakable faith in our sense of justice. We must not give in to our own selfish interests. We must not ignore those who are suffering. We must not overlook the elderly, the young, or the weak. We must never forget that we exist for our people's sake, and we must carry these resolves with us always. Why can't all government officials and leaders be like her? Final word we must know is love. You may not understand what it means yet, my sisters, but I implore you to remember it. All of the other words are but empty air without the concept of love behind them. Love is what this world needs, and it is what we need. It is altogether possible, my dear five, four, three, and two, that I may die before you. Not happening. And thus I have written down these seven words. For a while, oh, for a while I want you to save this world, I also want you to be happy. I love you all. I thought it was missing an A in between for a while, but anyways, whatever, it's not important. Postscript. It has been three months since I wrote the words, My sisters are dead, killed by Zero the Betrayer. And yet, I do not feel the fault is hers alone. My sisters were tossed and twisted by the power of their songs, and now the world once again spins towards its own destruction. Where did I go wrong? Were my motives not pure? It matters not. Zero is coming for me, and it seems my punishment will be to die with such doubts in my mind. Please forgive me, my sisters. I will go to join you now. Wow, so it's been three months since Zero killed two and then headed off to Cathedral City to get one? What took her so long? Interesting. Well, none of your sisters read the words. So now we come to Zero's chapter. And her portrait doesn't have the flower sticking out of her eye. So this is interesting. Let's see where it takes us. Begin virtuous mission. I wonder what story Zero's gonna tell. Maybe of how she met Michael? I really want to know what the deal with the flower is though, like where did it come from? Why is it in her body? Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was an intoner who was infected by a flower. Infected. This intoner had five younger sisters. Each of them cursed as well. Fearful of the flower's immense force, I like this song. the intoner began searching for a dragon. A dragon strong enough to kill every last intoner. I like how simple it is. It's just one vocal track. A dragon to kill intoners. Yeah, because they mentioned the end. Um, 
that dragons are the only things that can kill them. But one was traveling with Gabriella. Gabriella is a dragon. But Gabriella didn't try to kill her. March 11, 998. So this is. This is way before. Sorry, I don't know what I was trying to do. That's zero! She's here! Don't let her escape! Finish her here! Oh, I was so... a refugee who had fled Ooh. to the land of seas. Important At the story same time. time, I was in constant pursuit of the flower. Specifically, the five incarnations of the flower that had split off from me. My sisters. Wait. I had to hunt them down. And I had to kill them all. And I didn't have much time left. What do you mean, much time? Oh, her outfit's different. Her left arm is bare. Her sword looks different, too. And she doesn't have a claw. So this model doesn't have the flower in her eye, but when it was narrating in the game, uh, there was an eye. Victory flower in the eye. Leader. Bye! Hurry, or Lady Cerulea will punish us again! Don't remind me! Let's go! Well, how come Gabriella befriended one without trying to kill her? Did one also befriend Gabriella? There's no sense to, in staying here and getting pummeled. to be like in the end you gotta kill me? Like if she if she succeeded in killing Zero? Who's alive? I don't think I can switch weapons. I think I'm stuck with the sword. Are you insane? Yes. Wow, her attacking sound is quite funny. Let's get rid of the cannon first. To hell with this woman and our lady. Amen. Ooh. Back off or die. Look, we don't have to just blindly follow whatever Lady Sarulia says. Even what is the lady's name? Sigourney? Like Sigourney River? The background music is interesting because it's um her song without any vocals. It's just very bare and basic. Flashback sequences. Defeat the enemy soldiers? Not a problem. Little bastards. Your faces make oh, me want to puke. Now it doesn't have the flower in her eye. But you can't even see our faces! <sighs> Why am I so goddamn out of shape? Your faces make me want to puke, but you can't see our faces. You wow. losers are way too tough for grunts, you know that. Ooh, dragon. Is that? Uh, it's Michael. A dragon? Hello. Do you humans always attack creatures as they peacefully soar through the sky? My name is Michael. If you enjoy killing each other as much as you see it, perhaps you'd allow me to join in the fun. Yes, join me. If more soldiers would show up. Summon Michael, I did. You, the girl in white, who are you? You think to give me orders? Uh, me, you, you said you wanted to join in the fun. Dragon. Witness the power of my fire. Are you gonna shoot me too? God damn it! Ow. What are you doing? Hell no! Not gonna happen, dumbass! Woohoo! Yeah, shoot them, shoot them. helpless against the dragon! Are you? Ooh, he got me. No, he's actually hitting me too, guys. How to train a dragon? Ow! Why are you hitting me too, dude? You asked me if you wanted to join in the fun. So I summoned you to help me, and now you're gonna attack me too? Like, what the freak? 
Okay, whoever the voice acting director was for all of these fighting efforts, why did you let that one pass? It sounds like a weird squeak. That's just no. I know she did the voice for um, Mitsuru in Persona 3 also, and she didn't sound that awkward in Persona. But in this one, whenever she does attack things, uh, can't deal it sounds with this so shit weird. Halt. You cannot escape me. Wait, where's the treasure chest? Uh... There should be a chest around here? Man, what a prick. Yeah, there I it could is. really make use of that strength. Yay! Best material! Bye bye, archers! Go, 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 go. Oh, these archers are kind of harder to kill. Oh. Um. Is there scaffolding? Nope. Not yet. I can't get the second chest yet. Ooh, ooh, they're gonna shoot me. I was short on time, see? No, I don't see. I had to finish before the flower stole what little remained of me. Huh? I couldn't afford to make another mistake. I had to kill my sisters. And then, I had to destroy the flower for good. Why? But in order to do that, there was one critical item that I absolutely had to procure. The strongest dragon in the world. Why? Oh yeah, to kill her. I keep... Why do I keep forgetting that? I'm like, yeah, that's why she needed the help of a dragon. Yeah. There should be a chest around here? Yeah? Hello. And is it not here? Ugh. Maybe I was wrong? Does Lady Cerulean know ah, what's going that on way. here? Yeah. Who knows? Even if she did, I doubt she'd care. I doubt she'd care. God, can you just go behind him? Why do you... Why do you... I'm pushing dodge. Go behind him. There you go. That time you just totally circle and go back in front of him? Like, that's so stupid. Ugh. Bye, Archer. No, don't, don't get off. What if the chest is somewhere up here? And what does she mean she's running out of- Ah, oh, it's up there. What does she mean she's running out of time? It didn't seem like there was a time limit to how much the flower affected her in the main game. Well, maybe it was. Okay. I'm good on health and all that. Hello, dudes. I'm not calling him again. You think I'm calling him? Hell no. Keep attacking. But Lady Cerulea ordered us to. Cerulea. So I'd rather be killed by Lady Cerulea than this crazy woman. Uh, either way, you're gonna be killed. So what's the point in delaying it? I'm not calling Michael! I wonder if there's a penalty for not calling him. Summon Michael. Damn it, I have to? <sighs> Fine. Hey! Hey, dragon! I'm still alive, you know. Don't taunt him! Oh, but she wants his help. Your death is nigh. Bill Nye, the science guy. Shall serve as your funeral pyre. It's funeral pyre, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your insolent mouth at once. 
<laughs> Funeral fire. It's pyre. You're a silly one, Michael. He's not as smart as he makes himself out to be. And I always thought he was more of a serious dude, but... No senseless bridal force. <laughs> Over here, you dumb flying ox! No, don't make him mad. I'm not calling! Supposedly, there's a chest somewhere around here. I don't want to die! If you don't want to Keep die, then why are you chasing forward. me? No retreat! Keep fighting! We can do this! You gotta try! You gotta try. Doesn't matter. Just take them out now. This is way before one makes brother. Hmm. But the okay. Hello. Go for the other guy. That's closer, dummy. Hey, more showed up. Come join the party. Woo! Got out of range of that. Hey! No hiding. I understand that they're all doing their job. So they have to, like, fight me to defend their lady. But dudes, just run away. So much hacking and slashing in this game. It's like non-stop. And this game like forces it in your face too, because it's like, hey, look how bloody all of your clothes get as you keep killing all these people. Even with all the other in Intoner sisters, it's like, you say you're fighting for peace. You have a goal that you're trying to reach. But look at all the people that you're cutting down just to get what you want. Even if you think you're doing something good to help others, like... You're still killing people. Like, does that make what you do right? Yeah, you can try. What? Why do you cultivate that in your body? In my body. So it is already in me. <laughs> Let's get the loot. What do you care? <laughs> you still live, girl. Why is he laughing? <laughs> Damn right I do. Now kill me if you can. Why? You and I have much to discuss. That was my first encounter with Michael. He tried to fry me alive in fire. He was stupid, and not nearly as strong as he thought. Uh -huh. But he's still useful for something. And you still formed a close relationship with him. Back to getting trophies! Copper base, come on. What are her memoirs? Next! What could she have to write about? Her past? It's like, we already know all of her thoughts about wanting to kill all the sisters. Mikhail's diary. Land of animals. January 12th, sunny. Today I went to the land of animals and it was great. There was a big cat with fluffy hair and an elephant with a short trunk. And a horse with a big long neck. That's a giraffe. And another horse that was covered in stripes. That's a zebra. Oh, so it's a lion? An elephant with a short trunk? <laughs> I don't know. We all played in the mud and chased each other around, and it was a ton of fun, but the sun was dumb and hot, and I got tired really fast. Boo! Okay. So, 
we're not going to be talking about her. It's going to be all Mikhail's entries. Which is weird because Mikhail isn't even in the DLC. This is way before his time. I guess they don't want to spill too much of Zero's story. Like, that's what we're playing through the entire main game for. So they don't want to give too many details away. Makes sense, makes sense. I hope this chapter is fast to finish. April 21st, a thousand, so it's two years later. Aw, she curls up fetal position. I want to see it like... I never bothered to do that in the main game, just idle animation. She curls herself up in a ball. Where? I see. So Mikhail was Michael in the time before his reincarnation? Uh -huh. Yeah. And what was Michael called previous to that? I don't know. Years before. Michael never liked talking about his past much. I see. Okay. Riveting conversation. Hey Z. You've been dealing with dragons and junk for a while, right? And junk. Mind answering a couple of questions? Sure. Ask me anything. Well, first of all, what do they like to eat? Don't know. Well, then, how do they make fire? The stuff they breathe, I mean. Don't know. Um, okay. Okay. So, I heard once that dragons don't have good peripheral vision. Don't know. What about... Don't know. I didn't even ask a goddamn question! She knows absolutely nothing of dragons. So, did you and this stupid dragon Michael become best buds right away, or what? What do you think? Seems doubtful. <laughs> You've been paying attention. So, did you split up after that, or what? Hold on, I'm getting to it. Oh, she's telling them the story. I wonder if they, this takes place during Branch A, or during Branch B. Or another branch. Because hmm. I went to the campsite of Branch B and it's only Decadus and Dito there. And we're back in the past. Land of Sands. If I have to fight more golems, man, it's gonna be freaking annoying. Get taken away somewhere. Awesome. Oh my gosh! What the freak are those? I perhaps see the hand of Zero was a woman in prison with oh, okay. her flower's curse. A flower whose history deeply intertwines with the dragon. Hey, quit narrating already. <laughs> Leave me alone, girl. I have a gravely important tale. Who are you talking to, though? There's no one else no here. One gives a shit. I and care. Where the hell are we going, anyway? I want to know. I think I chose to aid one with such uncouth and abhorrent taste in the language. Okay, first of all, enough with the bullshit fancy talk. What? You dare ridicule the 12,000 years of knowledge imparted to me by me? Huh? I thought Didn't he was eight years. Didn't say 8,000 years yesterday? Quit fudging the numbers. Ridiculous. I would never stoop to the level Still, I always thought Michael I was wise and smart, but Even a lofty dragon such as myself did something that was he's so just as silly as Mikhail. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. There's a reason Stop. why Mikhail is so silly. It's because Michael was originally silly too. Oh, what the freak is this? Defeat the gargoyle cubes? Ugh. If you miss any, you'll have to start over? Goddamn stupid boxes. You're all going down. I hate this. I hate this already. I'm so stressed and tense. I don't like this. I don't like the, hey, if you miss just one thing, you're screwed and you have to start all over. I don't like it. What's the point of making a game like that? It's just stressful and useless and annoying. And I was having a good time making fun of Michael, because he's like Mikhail. I can't see the freaking cursor! 
Why do I have to defeat all of them? Why did you bring me here, Michael? But this is a cool new environment that we haven't seen in a main game yet, anyway. Defeat the gargoyle cubes. I don't want it to defeat anymore. I just want to be done. This is stressful. I don't want to have to start over if I mess up. I'm seriously super stressed. I hate this. Please let that be it. Done. Done. Or checkpoint reached or something. Come on. Give me a save point. Give me a safe space. I'm shooting them. Why? Okay, whatever. I'm trying to shoot them. 16. Great. Uh, uh. Two more waves. Thank goodness they go down in one shot though, oh my gosh. Please, checkpoint, or say I'm done. Checkpoint, checkpoint, oh my gosh. I hate this, I hate this. Oh my gosh, I thought I almost missed that. Checkpoint, checkpoint, give me a checkpoint. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Are you so, freaking serious? Again, where are we going? I know about the flower. Lady. So it is intrinsically related to my proud dragon race. How so? Michael explained it like this: Dragons have been the natural enemies of the flower since ancient times. Okay. And dragons were the only creatures in existence that could destroy the flower. Uh huh. When he saw I was infected with it, it kind of hit a nerve, I guess. What Michael nerve? kept describing it with words like destiny and preordained. Annoying as hell, actually, but whatever. Okay. All I needed was his help. Okay, I was like, the why is the music so quiet sisters, if she's not talking? And they had to be destroyed. And once that was done, I had to be destroyed as well. So if she had After actual sisters. That, he stayed quiet for a while. That the flower also took over? I'm, oh, dang it, I missed her last line of dialogue because I was thinking. Because she's like, the flower infected my sisters as well. So that means she already had siblings? They're actual siblings then? So how are they all together at the same time? Apparently, it was a pretty agonizing decision for him. He'd been alive for a very, very long time. Long enough to know every kind of loss imaginable. And sometimes all that pain and loneliness got in the way of his thinking. But after a while, mm -hmm. he whispered two words to me. What Very well. Very. And that was the start of our relationship. Okay. Am I done? Can't you just- why are you taking me round and round and round? Just go straight to where I have to go. So if she already had sisters- oh, it's because she wanted to get rid of the flower. She's like, the flower is bad, I need to get rid of it, so I need to kill my sisters. Because I was like, why would a sibling want to kill the other siblings? That's just messed up. I'm not done yet! I feel like I've been doing this forever! Oh my gosh, now it's a lot faster. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail. I can't see my cursor. Eliminated? Am I done? No, there's still one flying around! If this is- the gargoyle cubes aren't even related to the flower, why am I going after them? Why are you following it? Where is it taking you? Defeat the gargoyle cubes. Are you freaking serious? You said they were eliminated. I'm 
I'm getting sick and tired of this, guys. I don't like this. Uh. Argyle Q's eliminated. Please, let this be it. Done. I'm there. Oh, okay. He was easier than I expected. So now will you tell me where we're going? The mountain. Which mountain? I believe it's called Mount Vernon. Vernon Slice. Oh my gosh, it's the silly... Huh? It's the up. silly mountain name. It it's the the Bernstein right. Mountain or something. Forgot it, did you? Ah, oh, thank the lord that is done. The dragon had lived for millennia. I never want to do that ever again. He had fought thousands of battles. He had lost count of how many people and other creatures he had killed. In the end, all that remained was a mountain of smoldering castles and half-burnt corpses. Why did he go around and killing over them, the though? sad and endless years. Everything the dragon once believed in had become as ashes in the wind. That's why I do not want to live forever. You just start losing your sense of self and everything. Mm -mm. Complete. Yay. Too stressful. At least I didn't have to use any healing items for the first two chapters. Let's read her, not her, Mikhail's memoir. I would have liked to read about Zero, though. Land of Fish, February 17, Rain. I've been on this island for a week. There's lots of fish everywhere. Big fish and pretty fish and flat fish. Fish with feathers and arms and legs and stuff. Oh, and mackerel. I like mackerel. <laughs> Eat the mackerel. Die. To be. I'm just kidding. What am I saying? Ah, I want to go to the other islands, but I don't know how. Since it started raining, it's just been water all over the place. Where's Zero in all of this? He doesn't mention her. Why would a fish have arms and legs? I don't think that's a fish, then. Maybe he was thinking of a bird that just happened to go in water. Ah, I like how they bring the mackerel back for near Automata and for here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna save one more time just in case. And I'm almost done with the DLC chapters. Just one more round to go. And then that should be it. And then I'll level up 0 to 10 to finish unlocking all of the other memoirs. And then I could go back to the main story, so yay! Stuff to look forward to. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.